Hi, I'm Morara, CEO of Womodete Inc. and we're developing an IoT consumer service that will make menstrual pads retrievable in bathroom stalls everywhere outside the home. What we provide is the hardware needed to stock and manage the pads with in the bathrooms and an end user app, which will initially include one, an in-app map with which you can find the bathrooms that we've implemented in and two, a take a pad function. Simple. Our aim is to make this a prevalent social infrastructure, then later develop it into a healthcare platform that will leverage the services physical touch point with users to make other healthcare products and services more accessible. Before going any further, let me introduce a little bit about myself and the story of how we got here. For a while, I worked with railway and real estate companies in the smart city industry, in which with every new initiative, we aim to increase people's mobility and freedom with transportation. That made me think, my period has always been a huge barrier, both physically and emotionally to my own freedom and well-being, but there was not much that I can do to improve the situation by myself on an individual level. My male non-menstruating friends and now co-founders were surprised when I talked to them about this and were curious to learn more about the effects of menstruation on one's lifestyle. So we started looking into the issue further. We uh, surveyed over 1,500 people and an overwhelming 82% reported to have experienced struggles with their period outside their home. For example, if their period suddenly comes and they're unprepared or if they forgot or ran out of pads. And first instinct for most people, if and when anything like that happens, is to go to a bathroom. The bathroom is also in the end where you'll need to be in order to take care of the situation and use a pad. So that's where we knew was an opportunity for a new solution. I also spoke to my then clients in commercial real estate fields and figured out what kind of service model would uh, get them interested in our idea. Over the last year, many of them have worked with us in developing our service into something that they'd also be excited about implementing. We're talking about something that about half the population goes through in their lifetime and over 25-30% of the population is going through at any given time. This is a problem that affects a huge population on a recurring basis. And what's surprising is the lack of existing options that people have to deal with this problem, despite the fact that this is such a huge market. Pad vending machines do exist, but because they're so difficult to implement and operate for facilities, they're super rare. There are also many other issues on the end user side, and we thought improving these things even just a little bit would make a huge impact. And now we have the prevalence of smartphones as well as advances in IoT technologies to our advantage. Now, some of you may be thinking, but how often do people face an emergency situation like that? For us, the emergency situation is what we see as merely an introduction to our service. Our aim is to make our service the social infrastructure that people depend on daily. Once the social infrastructure is in place and prevalent, walking on and about without carrying around any pads and still be carefree will be the norm. Our revenue will come from one, facilities in the form of operation and rental fees, and two, from end users in this form of subscriptions. The former will make up the majority of our revenue in the beginning, but the latter is how we aim to accelerate our growth and expand our potential. We've spoken to major, major railway and retail, retail companies with commercial real estate in Japan about implementing our service, and so far we have reservations for over 2,000 bathroom stalls. This gives us the potential to expand to at least over 10,000 bathrooms just by implementing in each group company's facilities uh, nationwide. We've had over 300 people experience our prototype in closed settings and had great feedback. Over 90% of people reported that they wanted to recommend the service to others and would pay over the price point that we plan to set for the subscription plan. We're working to release this service next year. And I want to ask all of you to join us in developing this new social infrastructure and put an end, or should I say a period, to an unfree society.